Hello members, welcome back to On The Range with Ryan. Uh, happy Thanksgiving, uh, coming up in a couple of days here. Today I want to go over two things. Uh, we'll have a tip coming up in just a minute, but before that, remember I do have those 30 minute winter special rates going uh, from now until March 1st. For adults, it is a 30 minute rate of $50. For juniors, it's a uh, winter special of $40. So take advantage of those. You can book online on Fortis. Um, but what I want to talk about today, the tip of the day, I've had a few lessons over the last few weeks where I talked to, to the person about improving their posture for a couple of different reasons. So I want to give you a little brief intro to posture and then give you a tip that I picked up, a really good tip that I learned from Butch Harmon back in 2014. So the posture a player has is really important because it's gonna allow you to turn better and be more efficient and consistent. So for that, we want to set up with very little knee flex. We wanna bend from the hips and just get a nice spine tilt forward. What that should do, because we're tilting this way, is should load up weight on your, the balls of your feet or your toes. Right? tell people just right where your shoelaces start. I've seen a lot of people lately really back on their heels. So just like a basketball player or a shortstop, we want to be agile. So we want to be in a more athletic position with good weight uh, position. So from there, let's talk about ball position. And there's, this is where the tip is going to come in. So a lot of people ask me, how far away should I stand from the golf ball? And so what I have here today is a seven iron. You can use this tip for seven iron, eight iron, nine iron down to the wedges. So if I do get into a good setup position, for me, I'm a right-handed golfer. So I'm gonna drop my right hand off the club and it should hang right where it was on the grip. So if I'm too far away from the ball and I drop that right hand off, it's hanging inside the grip. Vice versa, if I'm too close to it and I drop that right hand off, it's gonna be hanging outside the grip. So we get into feet, shoulder width apart, a little bit of knee flex. We want to tilt from the spine, tilt our spine forward from the hips. And when we get in that setup, drop that trail hand off the grip and it should hang right where it was on the grip. So a pretty simple tip. I really wish I would have thought of that, but I learned that from uh, the great Butch Harmon. Uh, back in 2014. So see if that helps you out. Um, posture again, ball position, really, really important pieces to a good golf swing. So if you have any questions, feel free to email me. Otherwise, I'll look forward to seeing you next time on the range with Ryan.